Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about getting a residence permit by buying property in Europe. But in this video we will focus exclusively in the Balkan region, which currently in my opinion offers the best deals in terms of getting a residence permit without a high level of commitment. And before we start the usual talk, you already know it, if you want to travel, move or invest abroad, hit the like button, check our other videos, book a consultation call with me, the link is in the description. And most importantly, subscribe! Let's start. So, we're going to start today's list with Croatia. Croatia is one of my favorite countries for a number of reasons. Low capital gains taxes, great weather and the relatively affordable cost of living in its capital Zagreb. But in terms of getting a residence permit, if you own real estate in the country, Croatia is probably the least flexible deal that we're going to talk about in this video. So how does it work? If you own real estate in Croatia, you can apply for a residence permit in the country for what is called other purposes. There is no minimum limit on the price of the property, but what makes it a bad deal is that the time you can spend in Croatia per year with this residence permit is limited. This permit will allow you to stay in the country just six months. After that, you have to leave the country, stay outside Croatia for three months and then come back and reapply. So quite a lot of bureaucracy, especially considering you have to do this every time you want to be in Croatia and enjoy your property. Of course, if you are a citizen which is visa exempt, you come to Croatia. For example, if you are a US citizen or a UK citizen, you still have more three months on top of that because you can stay in Croatia every six months, you can stay 90 days. So 90 days plus the six months of this residence permit in total with a property in Croatia, you can spend nine months of the year in the country. Obviously, if you are an EU citizen, you don't have to worry about any of this. You can just come to Croatia and register your stay, even if you don't own property in the country and come and go as you please. The next country is just a little bit south of Croatia, it is Montenegro. Montenegro is another country often featured here on the channel. Apart from being a beautiful country, it is one of the most flexible in Europe in terms of getting a residence permit. And if you own real estate in Montenegro, that creates grounds for you to get a residence permit in the country. Unlike Croatia, there are no limitations in terms of how long you can stay in Montenegro if you own a property there. So, over time, it will also lead to permanent residency and citizenship, as long as you stay the necessary time in Montenegro to make you eligible for both PR and citizenship. Montenegro has a beautiful coast on the Adriatic and a great location in southeastern Europe. The disadvantage is that Montenegro is a small country, with slightly more than 600,000 inhabitants. Still a great place if you want to retire, for example, in the Balkans. The next country is North Macedonia. North Macedonia is another country in the Balkan region of Europe that will allow you to get a residence permit if you buy an apartment or a house. I would consider North Macedonia as a relatively flexible option. The residence permit in Croatia, for example, is less flexible than the one in North Macedonia. But at the same time, other countries such as Serbia, Montenegro and Albania are more flexible than North Macedonia. The main problem with this residence permit in North Macedonia is that it is not open to citizens of all countries. It is only open to EU citizens and also citizens of OECD countries. A lot of large economic powerhouses are part of the OECD, such as the US, Canada, Australia, South Korea and Japan. There are also smaller countries part of this organization, such as Chile and New Zealand. Citizens of all of these countries are able to get this type of residence permit in North Macedonia. There is also a minimum price threshold. You can only get a property and a residence permit along with that if the price of the property is above 40,000 euros. So there are these two details you should consider if you want to live in North Macedonia and get a residence permit by buying a property in the country. Next country is Serbia. Serbia is another popular and easy option to get a residence permit by buying a beautiful new residence for yourself. In Serbia, however, there is a reciprocity agreement that applies. If a Serbian citizen is allowed to buy property in your country of citizenship, you will also be allowed to buy a property in Serbia. If a Serbian citizen cannot buy real estate in your country of citizenship, you will also not be able to buy property as an individual in Serbia. You could still buy a property in Serbia then by opening a company in Serbia, but then 
in my opinion, it is already not very worth doing it. There is no limit as to how much a property should cost in order for you to get a residence permit in Serbia, but make sure that the property is in a decent shape as you will have to register your residence there. Serbia is an overall great option for residence by real estate ownership, especially in Belgrade, Novi Sad and areas around it. Go check our video on real estate in Serbia if you are interested in the process. The next country is Greece. Greece is another country in the Balkan region in which, by buying a property, you may be able to apply for a residence permit. But, unlike most countries in this list, you have to invest a lot of money if you want to get a residence permit in Greece by buying a property. In Greece, the option available is actually a golden visa. It has a number of advantages compared to an ordinary residence permit. But, on the other hand, the costs are also very significant. So basically, in Greece, if you invest 250,000 euros in real estate, you will be eligible for the golden visa. Right from the start, you can get a 5-year residence permit to come and go in Greece. And also you can use it to travel around the Schengen area as Greece is part of it. There are no minimum stay requirements, so you can just spend a month per year in Greece, for example, and you'll still not lose your golden visa in Greece. The next option is Albania. Albania is another option if you want to live in Europe and get a residence permit by buying property. As a matter of fact, Albania just overhauled its immigration laws last year, becoming one of the most flexible countries in terms of residence permits in Europe. They have created several new categories of residence permits, among them the possibility of getting a residence permit in Albania by buying property in the country. From the financial point of view, Albania is probably the best country to buy a property in the Balkans and get a residence permit at the same time. The reason for this is that Albania is still a relatively undiscovered place, but it has a lot of potential especially on the coast. In the city of Duris, they are going to build a new port, with construction set to start this year. And in the city of Lore, they are planning to build a new international airport. The next country is Bosnia and Herzegovina. Bosnia and Herzegovina is another country in the Balkans region, allowing the possibility for foreigners to become residents if they buy a house or something that looks like a house. Bosnia offers a number of advantages, such as a low cost of living if your income comes from abroad and really one of the most beautiful natural landscapes I have seen so far during my travels. If you enjoy mountains and winter sports, the vicinity of Sarajevo has a lot to offer. Bosnia even has a tiny coast on the Adriatic, in the town of Neum. Just like in Serbia, in Bosnia there is a reciprocity system. If Bosnian citizens can buy property in your country of citizenship, you can also buy property in Bosnia and get a residence permit along with that. And the last country in today's video is Turkey. Even though most of the country's territory is actually in Asia, there is a little part of Turkey that actually is in Europe. And that little part which is in Europe is located within the Balkan Peninsula. In Turkey, just like in every other country in this video, you can get a residence permit if you buy property. The difference, however, in Turkey is that property prices are the lowest among all countries featured in this list. And the infrastructure of Turkey is far from bad. It is actually pretty good and in many cases better than some other European countries mentioned in this video. So, if you already have a strong passport and don't need a visa to travel around Europe, buying a property in Turkey for a fraction of what it would cost in places like Croatia or even Serbia, this may actually be a quite decent option. And now we're gonna talk about the advantages of getting a residence permit by buying property in one of these countries. The first advantage is, in case you are not a pensioner and you still want to live in one of these countries, you can just buy the property and live from your passive income, from stocks or from rental property somewhere in the US, in the UK. That will be good. The second advantage is that you don't need a job or to run a company to get a residence permit and stay in the country. So if you really don't want to work or you just work for yourself, you invest in crypto, you have your online business or if you're a retiree, you don't have to deal with having a company open or to look for a job just to stay in the country. Third advantage, you can also make money from the property while you're not there. In many cases, you can just give your apartment to some property management company and they will take care of it and rent it out, maybe on a daily rentals, Airbnb, while you are not there. And the last advantage is that, in most cases, it will count time towards citizenship if that is your ultimate goal. So if you, let's say, buy a property in Serbia and you live there all the time, after some years you get PR and then, at the end, if you learn how to speak Serbian, you'll be also able to apply for citizenship. 
that's it for today's video. Write down in the comment section which was the first country you have been to abroad. And also, if you want to comment which country you would like to buy property in, write also that in the comment section. I'll be reading every comment. And to end the video, the usual, the usual tired gibberish. If you want to travel, move or invest abroad, hit the like button, check our other videos, book a consultation call with me. I'm there waiting for you, waiting to talk to you. And most importantly, subscribe. See you next time.